I tore my ACL, you know, mm -hmm. mess tore my meniscus, you know, and that particular moment, I had to decide what was next, you know, what, what I needed to do to transition my, my life. I know real estate is the, 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 a major key, you know, 90% of millionaires made through real estate. So I definitely wanted to get involved. You know, another thing I always say is there's a million ways to make a million dollars. One way was caught short, but there's 999,999 other ways I can make an impact, make a living, make a fortune and and be my best self people say knowledge is power but it's really applied knowledge the applied knowledge is the real power because you can have you know all the sense and, and all the knowledge in the world but if you're not using it to get the result then you know, what, what benefit is it really doing for you so six months i was an nfl player and an aerospace engineer at the same time it got to a point to where as i was building my portfolio in real estate my real estate income superseded my aerospace engineering income <laughs> Mr. Alvin CNO Jr., how the hell are you today, man? Hey, we are too blessed to be stressed. Appreciate you, uh, Johnny, good to see you. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely, absolutely. So we we're super excited to have you today. Um, Ex-NFL football player amongst, and real estate entrepreneur, amongst many other things. So obviously, I know everybody wants to know about the NFL journey, right? I mean, I know I am, I'm a big NFL fan. Tell, tell us a little bit about yourself from the beginning, you know, like just a brief introduction, you know, just color in some details. And, uh, you know. But I really got started uh, initially with my parents. They had a bunch of properties in Louisiana, right outside New Orleans. So uh, I grew up being around real estate, the asset management, the property management component of it. And uh, when I went off to college in South Carolina, Wofford College, where I attended undergrad, I played football and studied physics, had a lot of success there. And the football was All-American and Hall of Fame athlete. And that is what really catapulted me on with the Chargers. I was uh, with the Chargers in 2014 and 2015 out in, uh, right in San Diego, right before they moved to LA. And great time. I mean, a, a lot of, uh, met, met a lot of great people, worked with a lot of great people, uh, enjoyed every bit of it. However, it was just uh, one game, one quarter, you know, one play, one move, and I tore my ACL. You know, mm -hmm. and I tore my meniscus. You know, and that at that particular moment, I had to decide what was next. You know, what what I needed to do to transition my my life because obviously an ACL tear is a major injury, a, a season ending for sure at least. And my my future was uncertain. I ended up doing one year in Canada with Edmonton after that, and then I went into uh, engineering. So I got my master's in aerospace engineering and was working in, in aerospace industry while also investing in real estate because you know i have that background with my parents i know real estate is the the, the a major key you know 90 percent of millionaires made through real estate so i definitely wanted to get involved i wish i would have got involved sooner when i was still playing uh, but i was doing it on the side while, while being an aerospace engineer and it got to a point to where as i was building my portfolio in real estate my real estate income superseded my aerospace engineering income wow so it was like okay why, why not if i'm you know similar to uh, with, with doctors and dentists, you, you have a high paying profession, but if you can do something just 10 hours uh, out the week and make more, you know, why not, you know, partnering up and investing passively. So for me, it was a matter of how can I just transition, go full time into real estate and partner with other NFL athletes, professional athletes, uh, working with engineers and other professionals to partner with them to bring them the benefits of real estate. That's NFL, that. so now you were in the league for two years only, right? After all the training and preparation and like honing your skills and 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 it can it almost in, ended in almost in an instant, right? I mean, after that major injury, tell us a little bit about that. I mean, how did it feel and, and what, and then, you know, what did, was it devastating? I mean, what did you learn from it? How did you grow from it? I mean, how do you come back from something like that? Like it's- For sure, it, I mean, it's definitely like altering a kind of, messes with your your mental psychology as a, a little bit as well because you know imagine you spending 90 plus percent of every single day on this one component spending a large majority of your life you know 10 15 plus years training to reach this certain point and reach this certain pinnacle and then you think okay i finally have success i finally overcame all these hurdles i made it and you know now i'm going to work to achieve the 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 next step the next stepping stone to to grow more and then just like that something out of your control it deters you it, it, it certainly but at the end of the day you know that's why when you ask me how i'm doing i say i'm too blessed to be stressed it really comes down to the, the mindset you know how, how are you it's just just another opportunity or it's just uh the, the saying you know a minor setback for a major comeback you know people will say that uh, how are you going to handle it of course life will throw many things at you in in every regard but what really matter is how you respond to it you know it's, it's Absolutely. 10%, 10% what happens to you, 90% how you respond to it. So my viewpoint was, and don't get me wrong, it was difficult, but my viewpoint was, okay, this happened. Now, 
how can I make the most of this opportunity? If football doesn't work out, which, you know, my, my career was shortened, uh, which wasn't the plan, but, you know, another thing I always say is there's a million ways to make a million dollars. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, one way, one mate, one way was caught short, but there's 999,999 other ways I can make an impact, make a living, make a fortune and, and be my best self. So that was what I sought out after that. You know, after football came to an end, uh, I kind of worked uh, like some sales jobs, some um, security jobs while I was getting my uh, master's degree in engineering, just as a transition period. And I uh, was working as engineering, started getting engineering internships and became a full-time aerospace engineer uh, as a result, which uh, another, uh, you know, highly paid profession, which now I'm using those funds to build the real estate portfolio. Now the real estate is paying me again and I'm investing it back into real estate. So it really starts to multiply, which now I'm making close to what I was making in the NFL anyway. So without the the head trauma, without the injuries, you know, I, I tore my labor on my shoulder. I had a knee surgery. So I, I don't have to worry about those things. And I still have the income, still have the freedom, still have the impact uh, that I can provide to my community, which that is the, the, the objective for me and, and what motivates me to keep going. Wow, so now are you are you doing, are you still an engineer or are you, or are you retired from engineering as well? Yeah, so right now I'm I'm retired from football and retired from engineering. <laughs> we we only <laughs> nice man. We only we only focusing on real estate and partnerships now. Let's go. Let's talk about real estate now, right? So now you did you retired from engineering. You retired from football. You were starting to make good income from your investments. What kind of investments were you doing that generated enough income that replaced an engineer, right? And um, yeah, I mean, let's start with that. Yeah. So initially, I started off with just single families. You know, I got a few of those in LA. Uh, but I didn't like I rentals did or want, flip, flipping uh, with rentals, long term single family rentals. Mm -hmm. I did not want to do the short term rental because it was a lot of management, you know, taking away my time. And I also wanted to maximize the returns. So I got in, I was doing co living. I was doing co living with single family homes, five bedrooms, four bedrooms, properties, and renting each room out for twelve, thirteen hundred dollars So wow. I'm, I'm basically doubling what I would have if I just rented the single family home out itself. Mm -hmm. And it's hands off, you know, I can, I don't have to be there every weekend, making sure a cleaner comes or, you know, making, refilling it, property management components. Like once, once people are in there, they're, they're good to go. Uh, so, you know, that, that kind of, that income will allow me to replace my engineering uh, income and, and retire from engineering altogether. Wow. That's so how many, how many properties did you have? I mean, uh, the, so I... It, it don't, here's the crazy part. It, it only took two properties. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the yeah. income was crazy, right? Because you're renting out by room. Yeah, renting out by room. So making... To your debt, right? Like your DSCR must have been like 10 to 1. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It was insane. I mean, was making, was bringing in 12 grand uh, just between two properties. Wow. <laughs> just need a few more of those. You just need 20 more of those and then you're set. Right, right. right. You'll be good to go forever. <laughs> <laughs> so now you quit. So now this is, so now then you decided to go full time. When did you decide to go full time into real estate? So went full time into real estate at the beginning of 2023 this year. Uh, nice, started, congratulations! Appreciate, appreciate. Was doing the mastermind like we're in, uh, yep. doing syndications, close on a 42 unit uh, with some partners, Well Capital, uh, out in Nebraska, which has been performing phenomenally. Uh, we're already we're year month four now, and we're hitting our year three rent projections already. So we got really great uh, property manager boots on the ground and for that one. Uh, then also have another seven unit in Hollywood, California. That we're closing uh this week so uh, it's, it's it's just continuous building and you know have some properties in louisiana as well uh, with with my parents so just continue building continue networking collaborating that, that's really the name of the game you know it, mm -hmm. the, the saying if you want to go fast go by yourself but if you want to go far go go with someone else go together yep. uh, i have really embodied that uh, by partnering up and collaborating it, it really scaled and allowed me to grow the the portfolio tremendously but what would you say the top three advice to a dentist looking to get started investing in real estate? So I always say there's two things that you need to do to maximize your growth, maximize your output, maximize your productivity, which you need to expand all the time, which I always work on every day. The, the two things are your knowledge and your network. Uh, I'm, I'm always trying to learn something new or get a different opinion on something, how, how so, a different viewpoint someone else looks at something. And then the second thing is your network. Obviously, if you're meeting someone new, reconnecting with somebody you've been new or collaborating with somebody that you're already uh, close with and knowledgeable of. So those are two things I always try to do every single day. And then I'll say for the third thing is simply execution. 
you know, just 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 pull the trigger. Uh, you know, a lot of people they have all the knowledge in the world, they have all the connections in the world, but they're not doing anything with it. You know, people say knowledge is power, but it's really applied knowledge. Applied knowledge is the real power because you can have you know, all the sense and, and all the knowledge in the world, but if you're not using it to get the results, then you know, what, what benefit is it really doing for you? So, I would say those three are my main key takeaways that I always focus on and implement in some way, shape, or form every single day. Expanding my knowledge, expanding my network, and make sure I'm executing on both of them. Amazing. Love that. Love that. Now, real quick, top three resources, digital resources could be actually could be a book, audio book, podcast that have been uh, impactful for you. So uh, one thing, YouTube University, for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm I, always I, on there. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a student there now. Yes, <laughs> yes. And enrolled, been paying my, paying my tuition uh, faithfully. Uh, YouTube University, a lot of great knowledge, a lot of great insight on there. Uh, I always, every day I, I, I watch a video or, or just something that pops up that, that piques my interest mm -hmm. on there. So that, that would definitely be uh, one YouTube University. Uh, the second would be mastermind groups. I will say, you know, people like yourself, uh, other partners and people I learned from in different mastermind groups were, were a huge resource. Uh, it, when, when, you, when you talk about taking something that would, that would maybe take you five years to really do, something that'll take you five years to do and someone that has already done it and you can take that that five year timeline and shorten it down to five months like you, you literally transcended your life four and a half years just by having that one connection in a mastermind or a meetup or a group whatever the case may be so you know that would be definitely be number two and for number three i would say have some type of accountability partner you know that 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 really helps in so many ways because when I talk about the knowledge and the network, but if you don't have the execution, then it's to no avail. The accountability partner will make sure you are executing and taking action on the resources you have available. So you know that my, my accountability partner, I try to make it. I try to make everybody in my uh, in the in the meetups or in the in the masterminds. My wife is an accountability partner. You know, she always you know getting on me as I get on her. She may not like it as much <laughs> as me. But uh, I would say, definitely say those three things have been tremendous resources for me and just the growth and the, the opportunity and the, the knowledge uh, I've gained. So, you know, YouTube, university, masterminds and meetups, and then making sure you have an accountability partner to uh, prevail and take action on your resources available. That's awesome. That's great. Great advice. Um, I appreciate that. So if you guys want to learn more uh, about Alvin or, or get in contact with him, we'll have his contacts in the, um, in the description below. Um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be up. So we'll make it readily available for you guys. And um, yeah, so thanks again, Alvin, for joining us. Um, I'm glad that we got to reconnect. I'm, I look forward to seeing you at the next um, Mastermind event and retreat or whatever they call it. So. <laughs>